How could the ancient city of Pompeii have avoided destruction? In the beautiful Bay of Naples lies an ancient city with a rich history. Initially settled by the Phoenicians, it later welcomed the Greeks, who brought with them their illustrious culture. The Romans eventually took over and, in 87 BCE, established it as a self-governing city within the Roman Empire. This city is Pompeii, a city that vanished beneath volcanic ash. Pompeii had developed into a thriving metropolis over the centuries. It was a place filled with brothels and taverns, where people indulged in the decadent and hedonistic lifestyle typical of Rome, living in the moment without thought for the future. In Pompeii, there was a stark division between the rich and the poor. The impoverished lived in rented apartments, while the wealthy enjoyed spacious, luxurious homes with numerous slaves. The affluent particularly enjoyed frequenting public baths, where the facilities were no less sophisticated than those of today. These baths included changing rooms, massage rooms, and beauty rooms, and offered a variety of baths such as milk baths, mud baths, and even gold baths to cater to the beauty conscious. Despite the unequal distribution of wealth, Pompeii's residents shared a common passion for watching gladiatorial games. Pompeii boasted the oldest amphitheater in Rome, which could accommodate 12,000 spectators, more than half the city's population. When the amphitheater opened, the combats were fierce and often fatal, thrilling the audience. Pompeii might have continued to flourish indefinitely if not for the awakening of Mount Vesuvius to the north in 63 CE. Perhaps it was a divine warning to the residents, urging them to be vigilant. The long dormant dead volcano erupted, triggering a major earthquake that destroyed part of the city and unsettled Pompeii's officials. Without geologists or research teams to predict future events, the officials turned to the priests for guidance. The priests conducted a ritual to consult the mountain god, involving dancing and divination, and ultimately told the officials, the god of Vesuvius says this is just an accident, there will be no major problem. Relieved by this reassurance, the officials happily shared the good news with the populace. The residents quickly resumed their indulgent lifestyle, ignoring the threat of the volcano. For the next 16 years, Vesuvius remained quiet, emitting no smoke or tremors. Pompeii's architects continued to build, making the city even more magnificent. However, in August 79 CE, the volcano began to spew ash, with massive black clouds obscuring the sky over Pompeii, blocking out the sunlight with thick gloom. Sadly, the residents were indifferent to this development. Even as they saw the smoke, they took no action, and not a single citizen thought to flee the city. On August 24, disaster struck. Vesuvius erupted violently, hurling scorching lava mixed with sparks and thick smoke. The lava cooled and solidified into rocks, crashing down on Pompeii like meteors, causing the inhabitants to panic and flee. The situation worsened with torrential rains following the eruption. Mud flows laden with rocks and ash surged towards Pompeii, burying most of the inhabitants who couldn't escape in time under thick layers of volcanic ash. Pompeii vanished from the Earth's surface, only to be rediscovered in the early 18th century when Italian farmers unearthed many antiques, leading scientists to uncover the ancient city. Pompeii's fate could have been different. If the residents had evacuated when they first saw the volcanic smoke, they could have returned to their homes after the eruption, despite the city being buried under ash. They could have continued their lives in Pompeii, especially since Mount Vesuvius remained dormant for the next 2,000 years after that catastrophic eruption.